guys welcome back to my channel if you haven't already liked this video and subscribe to my channel so today i'm doing a little bit of a different video i'm going to be talking more personal sometimes you know basically i'm going to be telling you guys how i lost about 50 pounds i'm literally 170 even right now and my highest was 220-ish 218 216 so i lost like roughly like what yeah 50 pounds my guy it's been a long journey so basically it's not even been a long journey <laughs> i lost 30 of them pounds like literally like in the last month and a half like so it's really not that hard y'all it's really going to take a lot of discipline a lot of like consistency uh you're going to have temptation all that good stuff but before we get into that the re y'all know i have a child whatever i have ever since i had him it seemed like i could never he's about to be seven which is crazy um i have it's been hard for me to get that baby weight off it's been hard for me to get that extra weight off like at my baby i got on birth control back to back i was trying all got of different birth controls and stuff like that and that was making me gain a lot of weight i saw it swole me up like my shoulders was broad i was like big back bulky like becky not even becky shaquana you know what I'm saying? I don't even know. I just made up something. But yeah, if your name is Becky or Shaquana, no shade. I was like, dang, for years, like, I have been dealing with this. And I finally got, got checked out. Because I was like, I just cannot lose weight for the hell of me. Like, I was even, I was even like, working out and still eating. But yeah, my eating habits was like, half healthy and half junk. But I was still working out hard. And I was like, Damn, you know what I'm saying? I can't have a cheat day. I started cutting out my cheat days and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh my God, like I'm so unhappy. It was like to the point where every time I went out, it was like everything I put on or everything, I thought it was ugly. I was fat. Like I didn't like how stuff looked on me. Like y'all don't understand. Like, like I used to have big, big bazookas, big coronas, big Big bazookas, y'all. I used to wear like a 38H in a bra. And I had a breast reduction. That was one of my biggest insecurities too. Because I used to be, before I had my son, I used to be skinny. No butt. I used to be all I wanted. All my life I had to fight. All my life I wanted to be thick. And have small boobs. I wanted smaller boobs and had a wide load. You know what I'm saying? Had some hips or something. But I get the hips, but I still got the boobs. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, after this, I don't have my son by now. I had to wait. Till I was 18 to get my breast reduction. I had to lose weight for that. That's the only thing I felt like. The only time in my life where I lost weight. I done did this like twice. I done lost 35. But I have never lost like 50 pounds. Like I've lost weight twice before in my life. But it was like. I was like. It was because I had to. Like I really, really wanted that breast reduction. So she was like. If you gain any more weight. You're not going to be able to get it. So in my mind I was like. I don't want to gain no more weight. So shit. I'm going to do everything I can. Not to get, like it was like that. You know what I'm saying? So, basically, like, I was doing the same thing, but it's different now. After I got the breast reduction and all that good stuff, I'm still not happy with my body. Like, every time I get in a relationship, I eat. I don't know why. I get happy weight, depressed weight, whatever. If I'm happy or sad, I get big. Big as a blimp. And I don't like that. So, basically, now that, you know, I'm out of a relationship, I'm working on myself and stuff like that, I have more time to work on myself. Like, I'm like, I need to focus on me. You know what I'm saying? So, recently like a year or two ago like last year yeah last year i found out that i had polycystic over ovary syndrome which is pcos um it's a hormonal disorder which can cause enlarged ovaries with small cysts um they don't know what's causing it is no treat it's treatment can help the comment is not it can't be cured it requires a medical diagnosis i don't got my diagnosis already so it caused uh irregular menstrual cycles which is periods it caused hair growth acne and obesity i got all that my acne i just i'm finna get into it and we're gonna get into the pcos video i really need to do a pc high i really low-key am curing my pcos really because my skin has been clearing up my um my hair is still growing yeah my hair gonna grow i got a lot of hair all my body all over i thought it was just because i had good jeans i do still have good jeans of like hair on my head but as far as facial hair and all that stuff that shit gotta go i'm menstrual cycle has never been the same it's always changing i can't control that but it has been getting like lighter it used to be real heavy now that i see the change in my diet 
basically like doing this on this journey i have seen a lot of progress my i don't break out as much as i used to so with us breaking out we don't just break out on our face we break out on our arms on our back on our butts everywhere it's just like the confidence like y'all don't understand oh my god like my confidence is getting is it's getting where it needs to be but like y'all i can literally cry right now like i'm trying so hard to keep my tears in because y'all don't get it as being a woman and you want to try to be feminine i try to get out of my tomboy phase and being feminine and then like wearing like you know clothes that exposes everything you got dark spots all over your body you can tell that you have bad skin and like it's it used to eat me up on top of being overweight y'all like crazy my face my neck has even went down like i even have problems with my thyroid y'all so my neck it caused discolorations how y'all can see like how y'all see different colors my neck used to be blacker than this now that i lost a lot of weight it's like i don't know what's going on but it's uh, yeah it's not that my neck is dirty i'm clean it's just like skin discoloration can cause can come from all this stuff and all that stuff and i just learned to deal with it you know what i'm saying so we're gonna get back onto the point where i lost my weight because when i'm gonna get into pcos that's a whole nother video and that's a whole nother thing of telling you guys how i actually you know what i'm saying see the changes and what i'm doing with that i'm telling y'all how i lost weight uh intermittent fasting y'all i know y'all don't like hearing it i know everybody be like oh everybody say that but it works it, especially for me and we're dealing with you especially if you have pcos i feel like this is the best way to go and it's hard for our bodies to break down glucose as well i think either get glucose or break down glucose it's something like that and intermittent fasting has been the way more water less sodas less sweets i'm a oh i'm a fanatic <laughs> i'm a fanatic i get crazy i get loony for some sweets y'all you gotta cut that out cut that out don't even eat nothing healthy i ain't even eating nothing at all i said i can't eat nothing i can't even eat no fruit I'm out intermittent fast. I only eat in like certain times of the day. I started like, I started real hard. I started getting into a real heavy. I stopped. I was not eating nothing. I was only doing liquids like for a minute or whatever. Then I slowly start. I slowly start introducing myself back to like solids, which was like fruits and like you know what I'm saying not heavy foods. But now that I'm trying to, I feel like I'm skinny enough because I feel like I'm getting too skinny. So I'm trying to maintain my weight. I'm still intermittent fasting, but now I'm at least eating a whole one whole meal a day even if i don't snack even if i don't blah 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 i make sure i eat at least one whole meal every day or every two days i know it sounds ludicrous and i know the liquid diet sounds awful but intermittent fasting is the way to go if you want to start off slow intermittent fasting for like certain hours of the day is the way to go extreme doing it for a couple days not eating no solids just drinking straight water not even a dang on juice I had some juice i cheated a little bit but i had mostly water and it was mostly liquid diet for a whole a long time like for days at a time i go for three or four days then eat a whole meal then go for another three or four days then eat a meal you know what i'm saying or snack on like fruit cups mandarin oranges has been my best friend when you really gotta have some when you feel like you about to dang on faint i'm not saying it's healthy to do this i'm not no doctor i'm not tell i'm telling you what worked for me okay i'm not telling you to go out there and kill yourself if you know your limits know your limits i know my limits i know my body i know like when it's the hey i know my body like it's time to eat now it's enough i don't had enough it's time to eat so when you feel your body doing that, listen to your body. I'm not telling you to go out here and starve yourself for 7 days, 30 days, nothing like that. I never said that. You know how people love to twist your words. I'm saying, do it in moderation. Eat less. Cut back your eating. If you want to start off slow, start back cutting back what you eat. I eat what the hell I want to eat. Honestly. Now, I eat what I want to eat. And, I st and I'm still losing weight. And it's crazy. I'm still losing weight and I'm eating what I want to eat. But I'm intermittent fasting. I mean that one, that one meal, it could be up to you. To me, I, I, hey, at first I was eating all clean and stuff, but now that I don't lost the weight, y'all see me? Y'all, I don't lost the weight. I had that one meal. I eat what the hell I feel like eating because I deserve it. I really do. And it's, um, I included light exercises with and without, um, light, uh, weights and stuff like that at home. I have not been to a gym in about a year. Um, I, of course I'm going to start going now to tighten me up. I'm going to show y'all real quick. So this is what I'm giving. This is what I'm giving right now. This is what she giving. 
I'm trying to get that. I'm trying to get that. I'm trying to get her up. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to. This is what I'm trying to go for. In the next like two weeks, two, three to a month, I'm trying to be like this. I'm trying to get my stomach at least down there by the goddamn. By the time to be popping out outside. Come on. I'm doing good though. My stomach was my stomach was heavy. She was heavy. She was blubbery. She was she was a she was a good two three row. You know what I'm saying? She was a good two three row. But I'm really happy at my progress, y'all. My boobs has gotten a little smaller, but they getting yeah. Y'all gotta be careful with this. If y'all not, you know what I'm saying, working out in the meantime, toning, work on tone. I do recommend work on toning because I didn't do that. And my skin is softer because my skin used to be tight. Everything used to be tight. My butt, I said, dang, why my butt so still? My butt, mm, yeah, my butt a little, it got a little jiggle to it now. Yeah, yeah, it's small, but it wiggled off. Yeah, I ain't trying to do all that for y'all, but I'm, I'm just, I'm getting like more confident in myself. Like, y'all, y'all don't understand. Like, even my face, my jaws used to be like chipmunk. Woo. <laughs> You be on slow, but now like my face has getting smaller like Like y'all like I'm like legit happy and I'm standing on this journey cuz by the time I told myself this time Like you always say this every year Before your birthday or before summer you need to have your body right and this time I feel like I'm actually gonna do that shit I'm sorry for cursing, but I'm like Yeah, and I barely y'all I barely wear my waist trainer my stomach probably would have been in I cannot wear a race trainer, y'all. If y'all want y'all stomach to be going faster, I do recommend wearing that race trainer 24-8. I got waist trainers galore. I wear them certain days out of the week for a couple hours, and sometimes I don't even do that consistently. Be consi consistent. Don't be like me. Your stomach will probably be gone if you use that dang on waist trainer. I'm in a medium now. I really need a small because the medium is getting like, it's getting comfortable. The medium, I be like, I don't even feel like I got a waist trainer. I want to feel, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Wear a race trainer, do light exercise at home, intermittent fast, lots and lots and lots of water. Cut out the sweets, the juices, the sodas. Coke be having me in a chokehold. That shit be having me like this. Coke be having me in a chokehold, y'all. Cut it out. I'm telling you, just short term, like uncomfortable, like fucking whatever. Short term, not eating, what da 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 da, is going to be worth it at the end. Like, I'm seeing the benefits. Food ain't even food like that to me no more. Food used to be like real big to me. It ain't like that no more. I used to be a fatty. Everywhere I went, we had to order a, uh, hella. You know what I'm saying? We had to get two, three appetizers, a whole meal, dessert, and I know food ain't even that all that serious. Food ain't even that food, not even it's junk. At this now, it's I'm disgusted with some of the stuff like I used to eat. I used to be like, and now I'm like, McDonald's, Wendy? Whew. I eat it, somebody forced me to. Well, the people around me, they be like, girl, you don't eat that burger? I be like, child, please. But yeah, y'all, I know like, I really like was all over the place with this video and I know that like, I touched base on a lot of things, but I really, I feel like I summed it up. I feel like I gave y'all like the tease. Oh yeah, like, Cut out that soda. Cut out. That's when I uh, don't drink. Oh, that's why I was doing it last year, and I really fell back off the wagon. I gained the weight back. No alcohol, y'all. That was my problem just two months ago. No alcohol. I'm sorry. I know y'all love to occasionally when y'all go out dress where y'all drink, but if y'all a regular drinker, you ain't gonna see no results <laughs> if you don't stop that drinking. I, most results. I was seeing results, but now I'm seeing the most results. Now that I have completely cut out drinking. I don't, the last time I drank was like a month and a half ago. Um, intermittent fast, watch what you eat, cut out the sweets, um, mostly water. You know what I'm saying? Try to do a seven day fast. If you cannot, if you feel like you can't do a seven day, do a three day, do three day increments. Three days, no food, just water and liquids. And then do two days. You can eat, you know what I'm saying? But eat in moderation, lower your portions. Um, eat at certain times. Don't eat after seven, eight o'clock. Don't eat overnight, no snacks, not even no water. You're going to be hungry as a mug. I'm telling you, your stomach going to be eating this stuff up. But it's worth it, y'all. Like, it's worth it. If you that type of person that got time to go to the gym, me, I ain't got time. So I got to do everything at home, in-house. Okay? So if you got that time to go to the gym, at least once or twice a week, go there. Do some light exercise, do some lifting. So as you're dropping the weight, 
it's falling off, you can be toning. You don't be like me. I mean, I like the way my body is. I don't even care. Like, I like that I'm softer now. I'm I'm gonna wait till I, I mean, I'm not gonna get real buff. She's buff. I'm not gonna be really, really buff. I'm not gonna be like that. I'm gonna get like I ain't gonna get no six pack, but it's gonna be like almost there you know but yeah just do all those things that i talked about and you'll be gucci you'll be gucci if you want to clean out your system do um detoxes if you're a woman make sure you keep on doing vaginal detoxes make sure you do all types of detox to clean out your body and all the extra stuff y'all gonna feel like y'all gonna start moving doing bowel movements regularly you know what i'm saying it ain't gonna you know what i'm saying you're gonna be stopped up you ain't gonna be bubble guts none of, none of that Okay, but yeah, y'all, if y'all like this video, if y'all want to know, like, more about, like, my journey and want me to take you guys along with me and talk more about it, let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys later. Bye.